Hello, in this video we'll be discussing how Chris and Case is carrying AEW with his brand new persona. Okay, Chris and Case has been the showstopper of AEW, and I will tell you why. Chris and Case started a few with Adam Copeland last week ago, you know, last week. And um, he started a feud with Darby Allen and Sting and made Nick Wayne into a heel, his new daddy in AEW. Okay, and he made Luchasaurus into a monster heel, which is working right now. Christian Cage is now trying to put the fire on Adam Copeland to to help Nick um, Darby Allen and Sting in a tag team match. Um, Sting will retire at 2024 AEW pay per view at February or March, and Ric Flair will be on his corner. But the question is. Christian Case, will he attack Ric Flair? Ric Flair is 80 years plus years old. And I don't think he should be able to wrestle or be physically attacked by Christian Case. If Christian Case physically attack Ric Flair, that would bring a negative reception to AEW for allowing this old man to still competing in the ring. So it doesn't make any sense if Christian Case will attack Ric Flair. So, yeah. Um, I think Sting will win his final match either against Christian Case, Nick Wayne, whoever it is. Sting will retire throughout the summer. But Christian Case has been a great heel. He has taunted many sports fans he has taunted many AEW fans especially Darby Allen fans he is a great heel amazing the microphone he bring that intense talk in the mic um he may add a co-plan a great guy a guy that you feel sorry for I feel sorry for Adam to be in reject by Christian but this is how Christian wants to be. He wants to be a mentor to Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne and make them as top heels. Um, Nick Wayne could become the next Jack Perry, you know, a tough guy, young, has a good attitude, stuff like that. They have potential to become a great heels like Jack Perry um, and MJF. MJF is not their heel, but he was a big heel when he faced CM Punk and Jack Perry as well has become a major heel towards who? And I think Nick Wayne has that potential. Christian has unlocked Luchasaurus into this monster heel like Kane into the Abyss from TNA. And Christian used to work for TNA. He made TNA a good company as well. He was the main star, the main attraction, next to Booker T, um, Kevin Nash, Scott Steiner, and he made TNA the next level. So he debuted it in 2005, November, and Christian Cage is no stranger to make a secondary promotion next to WWE skyrocket, you know. He had made that with TNA, now he's doing that with AEW. Which means that Chris and King is just a misunderstood underrated wrestler. Like Edge said in an interview with Renee, that Chris and Cage is underrated. He is an underrated wrestler and he has the potential to become a legend that is not Shadow of Edge you know, career, or Adam Copeland. So, Adam Copeland is ruining for Christian to come out of his shadow, that he doesn't need Edge or Adam Copeland. 
one of Christian Dean's songs to us too is based on how he left Adam Copeland. You know, now he's all by himself. Like the song saying, Christian, at last you all alone. So, yeah. Christian Cage has become a legend. Like, comment, singular, or something.